My entire table is shaking, and therefore the video is shaking also. It seems to have calmed down. A very good morning to you all, Holy Trinity, and happy Holy... Um, what's, what is this? Happy Easter Thursday. It's still within the octave of Easter, so still it's technically Easter. The church has really way, weird ways of measuring days. Like, this day lasts for eight normal days. From Easter Sunday all the way through the second Sunday of Easter is all considered one really long day. And yet, we still, like, count it off as individual days. We celebrate Mass each day, and so on and so forth. Anyway, today I want to share with you one of my favorite songs. This is the Easter sequence, and it's actually one of the first songs that I ever sang solo in church. And I figure this must be back when I was either in high school or college? No, it must have been high school because I was at home for Easter. Maybe it was after college. Anyway, our choir director asked for a volunteer to sing the Easter sequence on Easter Sunday. And so I more or less memorized this song and have loved singing it ever since. But it's also uh, a song that we're able to either sing or recite throughout the octave of Easter. Here it is. I'm just, I'm just going to read it for you and give some really brief reflection on it. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. The word Pascha actually is, has to do with the word lamb or sheep. So the Paschal victim is specifically a lamb or a sheep. And it goes on and says, A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. So Jesus is our Paschal Lamb, and we are the sheep. We're the sheep who follow the Good Shepherd. Lots of good imagery going on. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. So really, again, with the beautiful imagery of life versus death, life dies and therefore lives. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. This is Mary Magdalene. So Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early in the morning, and she saw the empty tomb. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living. The glory of Jesus' resurrection. Mary declaring to the apostles, I have seen the empty tomb, and I have seen our Lord. And also, this is at the tomb again. Right, angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Um, and I think it's in John's Gospel, it talks about how the, the head cloth for Jesus was like rolled up in a separate place. And so, the shroud and napkin, that's a, a reference to that. And then, I think this is still, oh yeah, this is still Mary's declaration, this is what she saw. And she says, yes, Christ my hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Again, that was what Mary was told to declare to the disciples to let them know that they would see Jesus in Galilee. I don't remember. That's in one of the four Gospels. It's not in all of them. And then the final line of the song, Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. And who knows, maybe someday I'll sing that as well. But there it is. That's one of my favorite songs. I love the text. It's so much beautiful imagery reflecting on the truth of life overcoming death for all eternity. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Easter Thursday.